Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a Token Post interview. Today we have Helen, Global Community Director of Sharing, and Rowan, the COO of Sharing. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, could you give a brief introduction about yourselves and how your platform works? Yeah. So, um, I'm the Global Community Director, as you said. My job is to help bring together the community that will help support the digital marketplace for the sharing economy, which is what sharing is about. And we're putting together a platform that enables those people to meet and borrow and lend goods. Mm. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Rowan. I'm the, the Chief Operating Officer of Sharing. I'm a co-founder. Uh, yeah, sharing is something that uh, we've put together in... How should I place this uh, any, any better than you, Helen? Uh, a, a platform that uh, we can genuinely have any product shareable on uh, for, for use on a global. So a how did you guys come up with this idea of sharing? Sure. Uh, so sharing, the genesis of uh, sharing came from a business called Keys. Uh, our CEO is one of the founding members of, of that business. Uh, that was... Uh, the original idea for being able to have a platform on where you could have products shared on, uh, on, on a standardized system that is decentralized. Uh, that system was focused very, very much so on the, on the automotive industry. So it, 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 it moved into the, the car sharing business. Right? And that has been a successful business up to this point. So our, our business of sharing has taken that idea, that technology, and even some of those customers, and, and brought that over into something that we can scale across uh, many categories. Oh, when, when we looked through your uh, web page, uh, mm. it said share everything. Yeah. So, can you give a little bit of, a bit of more explanation on how your platform works? Well, let's go say there is a community that has a very expensive combine harvester. Now, there's an item that's very, very expensive. And so, rather than everybody owning, um, their own combine harvester, maybe in an agribusiness sense, that one person could own it and then other people could share it or rent it for a fee. So there could be a very big item like that. Um, as Rowan mentioned, cars, in terms of people could have cars. Many people are familiar with sharing platforms that exist like Airbnb, which is sharing accommodation, and Uber, which is sharing cars. But hey, there could be an idea if somebody's brought together a business, they want to share musical instruments. And it's very much the idea that maybe you don't want to own them because maybe you don't have the space to store them or you don't believe you actually got to invest that level of money, what you'd rather do is borrow that for a period of time. It's like a musical instrument or even a toy library. So, for instance, if a person wants to share his house, what benefit, exact benefit, would the blockchain technology embedded in your platform benefit the user of your platform? Well, something we probably need to just state is in the first instance, we're a platform for a B2B and B2C situation. So if a person wanted to share their house, they would need to be working with a business that did the sharing of many houses. It was just an individual. Um, having found one of those businesses, then they've got the opportunity for, of course, that asset to return some value back to them rather than just sitting there and um, you know, taking time and, and other resources, but some way to get some money back for themselves. Anything to that? Think of it as a, a platform where you could have assets housed by a particular vendor. Right? So if you use the house uh, as an example, uh, we would have them pulled by a business that would be a sharing uh, partner um, or provider and you as a user would be logging into sharing and being able to see those assets on, on the platform. So. As it's a B2B and a B2C platform for the time being, that is, uh, that, that is the focus. So it's not a P2P platform at this stage, it's a B2C. So we'll work with businesses that can provide us uh, with uh, the assets to provide to you, the user. One of the things though is that many people might think, okay, but there's already a place like that for like Airbnb or Uber. Yes, but you have to go to that one platform for that one thing. So sharing is a one-stop shop for everything. So you could imagine that maybe you're going to take yourself on holiday somewhere. Then the idea would be the sharing platform could help you get that accommodation and that transport and maybe that scuba gear that you want to rent all from the one platform using the one ID and the one transaction system. 
So you mentioned about your platform moving on to P2P system. Uh, how would users engage in your token economy? We'll, we'll look at that later in, in the piece. Definitely the focus is, is a B2C platform at, the, at this point. Like it continually gets raised, the, the P2P point, and uh, we would love to investigate that. Uh, but that's certainly like a stage three plan for us. One of the things we're doing is sharing the business. It's looking out for businesses that want to come up with an idea like that. And if there's a way, we can provide some consulting services and advice and mentorship to actually get that business shaped up. And if we really like it, hey, there's a point where we might actually do some angel investment. <laughs> so any major expansions in Korea locally here? Well, we're always looking. <laughs> yes, yes. That's why we're here. Got any ideas yourself? Got a family member who's maybe doing something? If I do, I'll be sure us. to email you. Absolutely. <laughs> so as someone who operates a black blockchain platform, uh, how does your outlook on the current cryptocurrency market go? Well, I think it's, it's, it's absolutely improving uh, with... Uh, I suppose the, uh, the idea that it's becoming more regulated in some spaces is giving people more confidence. Uh, we don't shy away from it at all. We're, we're, we're completely legally trawled through all our paperwork to make sure that we can, we can operate in as many spaces as we possibly can. So uh, I'm very positive about what's happening in the blockchain space. Obviously, I'm a believer. Uh, being one of the, the founders of this business, I, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. <laughs> but uh, there's some fantastic projects coming out. And, and one of the fantastic things about going on these roadshows is you see uh, other brands uh, that may be horizontal to you that you can potentially work with, which is, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, having worked in the technology sector for a long time, uh, I've never seen uh, so much enthusiasm in the ability to work with other brands. It's fantastic. So how do you feel about the Korean crypto market so far? Uh, well, we, 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 we're here to learn a little bit more about it. It's, it hasn't been a focus of ours, uh, hence why we come here to learn more about the, the, the brands and the, and the opportunities that's, that stand here. Uh, there's certainly a lot coming up, uh, hence uh, our visit. I know I should have asked this a little bit earlier to the interview, but uh, what are the major services that you plan on launching first, priority issues? I can take this yeah. one if you like, sure. <laughs> so when our platform goes live in November, what we will have is people will, businesses will be able to list themselves and their contact details. They'll be able to load up the assets that they have to share. Users or people who are going to um, borrow those will be able to come and find those assets and, and look at them. Uh, they'll be able to then book those assets and establish the contract between the borrower and the lender and then pay for those assets as the person borrowing it and the person who's actually lending it, of course, gets some fees for the payment of those things. It's worthwhile mentioning that the reason that we're going down the car sharing path is that's, that's a business that we've already proven. So with our sister company, Keys, that has already proven that, that, uh, that technology platform, and we can take what they've learned, put it into the blockchain, and take it to market. So they become a customer of ours, essentially, or a provider. We get their customers by default, where we can provide another platform for them to book vehicles. And then we take what we learn and we apply it to other car sharing platforms, uh, and, and, and any platforms, as far as we know. So it's an open invitation to businesses to come. Yeah, indeed, absolutely. indeed. It's exactly yeah. what it is. It's exactly what so it is. So as a global community director, um, any special countries or markets you're focusing on? Sure. Australia, the United Kingdom, the United States and Hong Kong are the four. So we've already had people telling us, hey, we think something exciting happening over in Prague. And what, maybe there's something exciting happening here in Korea and you're about to tell us it's a market we should come to. Okay. So to our viewers, do you have any last comments to our viewers? Sharing is going to do something powerful in the world. We've got many challenges with resources being wasted and consumption, but if you believe in being part of that, come. It's going to be a digital marketplace for everybody. Maybe you've got a business idea that you'd like to add as well, and we welcome you as well. We genuinely are a, an established business model uh, from a, a business that's already proven itself. So we aren't just a, a simple ICO with an idea. We're already uh, fairly far away. Well progressed. Yeah, we, we've already made good progress uh, on our technology. We're already building the product. Uh, so we'll have, uh, there's a lot more to come in this space. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Token Post interview, Helen, Global Community Director, and Rowan, the COO of Sharing.